Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have five stories for you this week. A drone crash into a uranium mine, of all things. A GA bill to ban Chinese drones. Uh, the North Dakota Senate that rejects the Chinese drone ban. Two opposite stories here. The Sumas Police Department that does a really cool rescue. And then lastly, some new DJI products. So let's get to it. And first up, the Don't Be That Guy segment. Unfortunately, uh, an alleged drone collision with mine equipment happened at the Pinion Plain uranium mine here in Arizona, uh, causing the mine to temporarily close for operation. While the size and type of the drone are unknown at this point, it supposedly struck a safety wire that is used to transport personnel into the 1,400 foot deep mine. Uh, that's according to the Coconino County Sheriff's Office. After crashing into the equipment, the suspect, Bobby Mason, allegedly fled into an F 150, leading to a series of incidents, including two hit and run that happened near and inside the Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, the Coconino County Sheriff's Office has charged Mason with offenses, including unlawful operation of, of an unmanned aircraft, aggravated DUI, criminal damage, hit and run, reckless driving, and harassment. So uh, moral of the story is always the same. Please don't be that guy. Next up, a Georgia bill would require Georgia Emergency Management and Homeland Security to create an approved drone list for public safety and government use. The bill would give agencies a three-year compliance window to acquire new aircraft that are on the approved list. Now, if you live in Georgia, please let your legislators know uh, what you think about this and how this would affect your operation. Uh, this is House Bill 205. And then on the opposite side of the fence, we have North Dakota. Uh, North Dakota Senate rejected a portion of a bill that would enact a replacement program for state-owned and operated Chinese drones. State Senator Cal Davison uh, led the motion to strip the text from the bill, citing the significant cost difference between Chinese and American-made drones. Uh, according to the uh, uh, Senate testimony, uh, the Matrice M30 that is currently used by the state agency cost around $7,500, while the NDA compliant alternative cost between twenty dollars and $50,000. Uh, the Senate also preserved a, an $11 million uh, allocation to support beyond visual line of sight operation that was in that same bill. And in a Drones for Good story this week, coming from some Pilot Institute students in Northern Washington State, uh, multiple agencies had responded to a report of an elderly woman who had gone missing during the night. After several hours of searching, the Sumas Police Department arrived on scene and a M30T was launched, locating the missing person in under three minutes. Uh, the woman had fallen down a steep slope near the residence and then was becoming hypothermic. Luckily, she was was able to be rescued and was transported to the hospital. So big shout out to the Sumas Police Department. Uh, great work and then thanks for all that you guys do. Last up, DJI has released two new gimbals this week. That's right, not one, but two gimbals. Uh, first, we've got the Osmo Mobile 7 with Active Track 7.0, uh, hand motion control, 10 hours of runtime, a built in tripod, and then a magnetic uh, mounting for the accessories. The Osmo Mobile 7 comes in at two different prices. Uh, the entry level one is $89, and then there is a 7P model that costs $149, which is surprisingly rather cheap for what you're getting. Uh, DJI also released the RS4 Mini, and uh, we actually got our hands on one of those to test out for the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's got a 13 hours of runtime, 4.4 uh, pound payload, an active track module, and a native vertical shooting. Uh, you can check out the full review right here that we did. In other news, we also have two photo contests that are running in the community, each of them uh, with over $600 in prizes. Uh, share your drone photo of the great outdoors is in the drone photo contest, and then you can share a selfie from you in the cockpit in our airplane photo contest uh, for your chance to win. Now head over to the community's content space for all the details. And if you're not in the community, very easy to join. Just register for any free course uh, to get access at pilotinstitute.com. And then join us later today for happy hour in the community. Uh, we also have the live Q&A on Monday and in post-flight on Monday in the premium community. So we'll see you then. Update, we have five stories for you this week and the prompter is not moving forward. So that's not going to work. While the size and the type of drone... Okay, I'll start from the top. While the size and type of... While the size and the type of drone... What the f*** is the 7P model? Oh, uh, count... Purr. I'm going to redo this whole story. Purr.